Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna build this simple to-do app. As you can see we have a simple functionalities where we can create a new task, we can delete the task and also we can check the checkbox when we are done with the task. So let's get started and create this. This is where we are going to get started. So inside my main dot dart I imported homepage class from pages inside a homepage dot dart as you can see. So let's go to homepage.dart and here I have, and there is nothing special, basically there is a blank scaffold. So this is where we are going to get started. So inside a scaffold, let's just first create an app bar. App bar, app bar. Let's give a title and for the text, let's say simple to do. And now if I save it, you see the simple to do. Now let's give the big round color for this app bar, colors dot deep purple. And if I save it, you see we have a big round color, but I want to change this text color to the white. So for this, we can give the foreground color, colors dot white. Save it. You see now we have a white foreground color. Now let's give the big round color to this scaffold, background color colors dot deep purple and shade would be 300 now we'll see some you know differences between app bar and body uh, i mean the scaffold so now let's just add a const here and let's just now move on to the body part so inside a body what we want basically we want to create a containers you know some to do's so for that we can use the list view basically uh, specifically I mean the list view dot builder list view dot builder and this actually gets the this list view dot builder actually gets the item builder so for the item builder let's add a build context context and comma we also need to specify the index and this will returns you know the item so we don't have any items yet we need to create a one here so let's create a list. Let's name it to do list. And inside this list, let's create another list and let's say learn web development, for example. And we also need to specify the Boolean, which is uh, for this checkbox. You know, we will add also some checkbox. And let's create one more. Let's say learn, let's, let's say drink coffee. Let's just remove the web development and save Flutter. And now we will remove this const. And here inside a list view dot builder, there is a two things that we need to specify. One is item builder, which we have already specified. The another one is item count. So item count would be to do list dot length. So based on this to do list length, it will create this. It will build this list view and for the return we want to return the container and for the container we'll add a child and for the tax we basically need to specify this uh, to do to do list index which is zero right now if i save it you see there is a learn flutter and drink coffee uh, let's just add some style to this container i'm going to give some padding and for the padding let's say 20 and we will change it later but you can see we have some padding if i give the container color colors dot um let's say deep purple if i save it now you see we have a deep purple color of the container now i'm going to give some padding for this container is dot all 20 and if i save it you see we have some paddings of this container now uh, let's just uh, style this tax because it's very small and color is black so after to do list i'm going to add a style text style and first let's change the color colors dot white and next we need to change the font size maybe 18 and if i save it 
Now you see we have a beautiful uh, container with a text. And now let's just change these sharp corners to some border radius, you know. Uh, here I'm going to add a, inside a container, I'm going to add a decoration. And it will be box decoration. And make sure you put the color inside this decoration, otherwise you'll get an error. So inside a decoration, we have a border radius border radius dot circular and it will be 15 if I save it now you see we have some border radius have a learn flutter and drink coffee but here you see on the in the middle of these two containers we have a huge padding so let's just remove this so in order to remove that we can come to this padding which we wrap up this container instead of all let's say only and just top would be 20, left would be 20, and right would be 20, and finally bottom will be 0. And now we add the comma here, and if I save it now, you see the padding has, we have just removed the padding in the middle. So now we can see the beautiful UI. I hope so, it's beautiful, not that beautiful, but it's I think the normal, right? Now uh, let's just add the cons to remove these warnings. I don't like to see them, you know. Now um, let's just separate these, you know, the the styles that we have inside this listv.builder. I'm going to wrap this padding, copy and remove from here. I'm going to create a separate folder for that. So inside a lib uh, folder, we want to create another folder which is utils. Inside a utils, I want to create to do list.dart. And here let's import package. Flutter from material.dart. Let's create a stateless widget and let's say to do list. And we'll return this padding. If I save it. Now you see we are getting some errors, but don't worry, I'm gonna we're gonna actually solve these problems. So inside a return, let's just import this create to-do list class. And you can see it will automatically import the package, simple to-do, inside a utils, we have a to-do list.dart. Now, um, let's go to, let's go to to-do to -do list.dart. And here, let's just create, you know, uh, let's make it uh, dynamic, so for that, I guess it's the dynamic or I don't know the, the, the arguments, the constructor, uh, the, let's say parameters, right? And here we first create a final string uh, task name uh, for the task name, right? Let's, let's just learn Flutter and drink coffee. And now we I need to add a one more thing. And let's just remove this one more thing because you might confuse now. And let's just add a final parameter here, task name. And here we will remove the to-do list index zero and we basically add a task name. And here inside a homepage.dart, inside a list, we have a task name, which is to-do list, to-do list index zero, right? If I save it now, if I refresh that, you see we don't get any errors and we see the Lauren Flutter and drink coffee. So if you add one more list, and let's say for example, code with autoback, and if I save it, you see, we will see the one more container. The reason why it's doing is that because we have a list.builder, so this list.builder is building the list based on this uh, list that we have just created. Okay, so we can just now re remove that. I hope you understand it. Now, uh, uh, let's create a checkbox in the left side of this, uh, you know, the container in the in the string, which is learn Flutter or drink coffee. So for this, let's go to to-do list. And let's, inside a container, we have a child and let's wrap this text widget with the row. And inside a row, first, let's create a checkbox. 
and this checkbox parameter will take you know two things like value and unchange it let's create this here inside a stateless widget so i'm going to create a final bool and it will be task completed and one more thing for the function final function it will be boolean and let's say it will be delete function right now it's let's say say unchange it unchange it and let's create these constructors save it and here i'm going to for the value it will be task completed and for our unchange it function we added on change it if i save it and if i go back to homepage.dart and here we can add a task completed and for this we need to add a to-do list indexed one right here we have the to-do list index zero would be this string and index one would be this bool false and now we add we need to add one more thing which is function but before that let's just save it and see that if i save it and see that you see we have a checkbox you can see we cannot uh, if i click on this checkbox we cannot you know check it or uncheck it the reason why is that because we haven't uh, created the function that we have just created which is unchange it so now let's go and uh, create that which is uh, on change it so for on change it let's create uh, let's give some value to this and let's create a function call it checkbox change it and this will takes uh, basically the index and now let's copy this checkbox change it and here inside a home page I'm going to create a function checkbox change it and we need to specify integer index and here inside a checkbox change it uh, what we want we need to specify to do list index one uh, when it's not equal to to do list uh, index one so if i now refresh this page and click on this checkbox it will not work can you guess and write in the in the comment why it's not working because now i will give the solution but before that let's just stop the video and give the solution give the the solution in the comment section so the reason why it's not working is that because we are using stateless widget and we are not changing the state so in order to change the state we need to first actually change the stateless widgets to the we need to convert it to a stateful widget and and after that we need to wrap this to-do list let's copy that and set state and paste it inside a set state and now if i refresh this page and click on this now we can see we can click uh, and we can see the checkbox it's clickable right now let's give some style to this checkbox here I'm going to set a checkbox. I'm going to add the color, which is the check color, colors dot white. I check it. You see it's white now. But let's refresh this first, and let's also add a fill color, colors dot white, and where is also active color, colors dot white. I'm going to remove this fill color and now you see we cannot see the check color because we added the white let's make it black and now you see now we also wanted to change this border side color to the white so for this you can add a site border side and inside a border side we can specify the color colors dot white and now we can save it and refresh you see we have a border side color white now we can click on checkbox and we can uncheck it so the next thing is 
before the next thing let's just remove these warnings i don't like to see them so now next thing is we need to when we check this uh, checkbox we just want to you know the line through which means that we have done this task so in order to do that we can come to this text decoration text widget and inside a style there is a decoration and for the text decoration we can add dot line through and if i save it even if we don't check this checkbox it will you know line through because we need to add a condition so when we check this checkbox it should line through otherwise it should uh it should be like de test decoration dot none so for this we created already the boolean which is task completed so we can use this boolean here so task when task completed what was the name let's just remove this const because it will not work task completed we will use ternary condition when the task is completed we want the text decoration dot line through and otherwise text decoration dot none if i save it and refresh this page again and if I click on this checkbox, you see we have a line through. If I uncheck it, you cannot see that. But I want to change some style of this line through. Uh, for example, based on your preference, you can give any color. I just want another color, you know, maybe decoration color, colors dot white. Which one is better, black or white? I, I feel like white is better. Let me know in the comments. So... I also want to change the thickness of this line. There is a decoration thickness. I want to make it two. So again, I'm saying it's not really necessary to, you know, to follow my, you know, the UI. It's your preference. You can change it whenever you want. So now we are done with also checkbox. So now the next thing is we want to add a, you know, some, uh, the button here on the, in the bottom. So we want to add more, you know, to do more tasks. So for that, uh, let's go to home page. And inside a home page, we have the app bar and we have the, the body. So after the body, we want to create a floating action button. And for this floating action button, we have a floating action button widget. And this will require it's unpressed. I'm going to make it blank now. And now you see we, do, we have a floating action button. Let's create an icon. Icons dot add. And now this icon we need to add inside a child actually. And if I save it now, you see we have an add icon. But when we press this icon button, we don't see anything but we will write some uh, condition function inside of unpressed but before that let's just also add some text field here on the left side of this function so for that uh, inside a floating action button we need to wrap this floating action button widget with a row and before floating action button uh, we need to actually you know create a text field but when i create a text field and save it it will disappear so we need to remove uh, we need to wrap this text field widget with another widget which is expanded and now if i save it you will see the text field as well as the bottom so now let's give some style because it, it looks very bad now so let's wrap this text field with the padding and let's say not all but Let's say symmetric, horizontal, maybe 20. And if I save it, you see we have some padding on the left side and right side. And inside a text field, let's give some style. First, let's uh, enable, uh, let's use the decoration. Inside a decoration, we have an input decoration. Input decorations. Inside a de input decoration, we want enable it border so enable border outline input border and inside that we want the border side 
if you want if you want a border site you can also add a border site for example border site we have a color colors dot white just an example but we will change it later and now you see the border site and we can also add a border radius border radius dot circular 15 if i save it now you see we have a uh, actually we have also border radius now uh, we want to add uh, also focus border if i click on this this is box border you see we don't have a nothing so we need, we can basically copy this enabled border and paste it and change it focus border and now inside a decoration input decoration we want to add a color so first let's just add a fillet to and towards the fillet fill color i want colors dot deep purple dot shade maybe 200 now you see we have a fill color now we want to change this border side color maybe deep purple because white doesn't look good deep purple if i save it now you see have a beautiful text field i hope so it's beautiful now uh, let's just remove these warnings so now we have actually we have the text field and we have the button now uh, we need to add uh, the logic but before that let's just give some hint to this text field for example um, there is a inside a decoration i guess there is a hint text let's just add add more add new to do items add a new to do items you see we have a hint now let's just add the logic so when we press this function we want to create more to do's so for that we can come to this floating action button and here you can see that we have an unpressed function so here we will add a function name let's say save new task and we can come back come here and create this function so wait save new task and we create a set state set a set state we want to add a to-do list dot add we want to create a new item so for that uh, we need to get the user input so to get the user input we need to create a you know controller inside a text field so for this uh, basically uh, what i want to go what i want to do is that i want inside a text field this is my text field so here i have a text field you can see so inside a text field if i write a controller we have a controller property so we need to create this controller here inside the home page date final controller text editing controller and we need to specify this controller here it's a private you can see controller and now we need to when we add this to-do list we want to add the controller dot text basically what the user types here and we can add a column and now if i save it and write a new to-do item for example new to-do added and if i click on this add you see we are getting a range error the reason why is that we need to add here the integer uh the because uh, we need to basically add here the we have a uh, two properties right we have the control dot tax we have a string and we have also checkbox right we almost forgot the checkbox 
so we can add a column and say false now if I save it and here if I add a new item add a new item if I click on add you can see we have added a new item we can also check this and uncheck it but you see we have a still the text we have added so we want to remove that how can we do that so after the to do list.add we can add controller.clear and now if I refresh that page and if I add a new new to do added if I save it if I added this function you see it will disappear because we are using controller.clear so that's it this is how we can create a, or save a new task now we want to delete the task so how can we do that so in flutter we have the package called it slideable package so you can all either add the delete icon here inside a container or we can make it slideable i want to make it slideable so for that we have a slideable package as i told earlier so now let's go to slideable package so if you type flutter slideable package you will see the flutter slideable so let's go and install this flutter slideable i'm going to copy that and i'm going to go to pubspec.yaml and after the cupertino icons i want to add it and make sure you get run flutter pub yet you see i have already done that now we are going to go to to-do list and inside a to-do list we have a container so this container actually covers checkbox new to-do items like the strings we also we want to add the slideable action at the end of this container so for that let's wrap this container widget with the another widget and we will call this slideable and this slideable widget includes you know the another thing which is and action pane and for the action pane uh, we there is also there is actually motion and children now if i save it uh, we have a motion so motion basically means that the widget which animates when the slideable moves you know we want the stretch animation stretch motion animation and for the children you have to create a list and inside that we need to create a slideable action slideable action so this slideable action includes or requires on pressed function because when we press this slideable action what happens so this is what it's asking for and also it will requires you know some icon so basically we want icons dot delete and now uh, for the function now for the function when we press this function what happens uh, basically uh, we want to delete so i'm going to first go to the constructor here i'm going to create a, let's just add the required here i'm going to create a new function here the final function and this will be build context and i'm going to name it delete function and let's create a constructor and here we will specify this delete function delete function and for the icon let's remove this icon and again say icons dot delete and now we can save it now if i refresh this page and if i slide this you see now we have a slideable um, delete function but i want to change the border radius first so for this we can come to the slideable action after the icon you can say border radius border radius dot circular 15 and if i save it now you see 
If I slide it, we have a delete function. You can also change the, the color of this slideable uh, action. For example, color, background color, color.red. You see, it will change it, but I like the white color more here. So now let's work on this uh, function. If I click on this delete function, it will, this uh, container should disappear. Basically, it should delete this uh, list. So for this, uh, we have created the delete function. So now uh, we need to create this delete function. So inside a to-do list, let's make this require it. And inside a home page, we need to create a delete function and let's say delete task and this delete function basically gets you know the uh, it will get you know the the value delete function and will specify the index Sorry, it will not uh, get the value, it will get the context because it's a build context, right? So now we will create a delete task. Uh, we will come here and after the say task, we create a void delete task and we'll specify the index and inside a delete task, we'll create a set state and we want uh, to do list dot remove at and the index and now if i save this and for example if i remove this drink coffee as you can see it will disappear so now if i create a new task for example uh, learning to do and add it you see we have created now we can check box this because we have already learned Flutter. We can say learn Flutter. And now uh, if I delete this, it will disappear. So I think that's all about this. Here you see we don't have any padding. I just want to add more padding here. So for this, you can come to this floating action button. And inside this row, you can wrap this widget with the padding. And let's say symmetric. Symmetric, horizontal, maybe 15 or 20. If I save it, now you see we have some padding on the left side as well. So you can add more to-dos. So that's all about it for this video. I hope you this video was helpful. Please don't forget to comment and like this video. I will see you in the next videos.